So what do I mean by a fashion fish keeper? It's not a knock on the Cardassians. <laughs> Those folks are pretty successful. What I'm talking about is you've heard me talk about a lot of things. About how sponges are really all you need in filters, how they'll handle it all for you. About how I consider a deep substrate an important part of maintaining a healthy colony of beneficial bacteria and how I consider a deep substrate as one of my forms of media for maintaining beneficial bacteria. I've talked with you about how I like to mix food so I have a combination of all kinds of different food that I give my fish so they get a, uh, a variety of nutrients in every meal and how I feel no one one maker of fish food has it all figured out and so because of that I blend my food. I've shared a lot of ideas with you over the years but bottom line is this if something is working for you keep doing it. If your fish look healthy, if they're showing great colors, they're active, they're eating well, keep doing what you're doing. Don't be a, uh, a fashion fish keeper chasing after the latest uh, advice from this person or that person or and changing things up uh, so much that it ends up actually uh, wrecking or crashing your aquarium. If things are working, be real reluctant to change anything or follow the advice for a whole new way of doing things like swapping all your media out for uh, for sponges or adding a whole bunch of substrate to a bare bottom tank so you end up with five or six inches of substrate or whatever the case may be be real reluctant to make any changes if your fish are looking good eating well colored up healthy lasting a long time man I don't care who says it, uh, really, really take it slow. And I think in the long run, uh, we'll all do better. All right, so that's it. Just a real quick, short message. Uh, don't be a, uh, a fashion fish keeper. <laughs> don't follow the latest trends. And we always have, every year I've been at this, there's been a new, a new trend, a new wave uh, going through the fish community. Do this, do that for the best results, and uh, you know, it, and it makes you second guess what you're doing, even though your fish look great. So uh, don't do that. Just uh, carry on if things are don't don't going well, and uh, take everything with a giant grain of salt. Thank you, my friends, for tuning in, and I hope to see you on Saturday for cichlids and coffee. One hour of uh, great fish keepers talking about good stuff. Your questions answered live. Uh, in a live stream, 11 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. And if you'd like to support continued creation on the channel, become part of the Garage Gang and uh, become a Patreon monthly supporter. Starts for as low as $3 a month. And uh, that's today's message. Thank you, my friends. Bye-bye.